here we have, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pass over to you. Yeah. Give us a bit of an overview about how the game works. Um, I'm really excited about this one. And yeah, ha a quick overview of how it works. Cool. And then we'll get into some, some plays. No worries. Okay, so the story behind the game is that it's the year 2100. And we are the architects of the world's first floating megacity. So we've designed this brand new technology that lets us build on these floating platforms. Sweet. Cool. So let's have a quick look at them. Uh, the platforms themselves, uh, they come in four different colors. Red is for residential. Uh, we have blue for uh, industrial. We also have yellow for commercial buildings and we have purple for public buildings. Uh, on top of that, each of the uh, platforms, they have a little hexagon here, which we call the vent. Uh, you are never allowed to build on the vent. So I hereby ban you from doing that. Uh, you also have three little dots, which are the power ports. So mm -hmm. when building, please make sure that your buildings at least touch all three of them. Nice. Okay. Because okay. uh, that way our buildings have power and the people can live in them and everybody will be happy. Don't build on the vent, though, because then the buildings will explode. Oh, good. Which good. would not be great. <laughs> uh, now, the second thing that we need, of course, are contracts. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the contracts come in four different colors, four different types. And when you're building, you must make sure that the colors will match. So here we have my residential contract, uh, which is red. In the top left corner, we've got a number next to a little ruler, which tells us that the building needs to be that minimum height. And okay. I assume the ruler is here. Yes, there this three-dimensional ruler, which I will put in here, voila, which will measure how things are. Okay, so the idea behind the uh, the the height thing, mm -hmm. they're millimeters, but the numbers look terrifying. So it's like, yeah. is it this, what do you mean it needs to be 35 <laughs> high? No, it's only three and a half centimeters, I promise. It'll be fine. You can manage this. It's going to be ground. Cool. In the top right of each card is the amount of pieces that you must use. So this cool. one here, I can use exactly six. No more, no less. Mm -hmm. There are some cards that let you use a little bit more, but for me, this one's six. All right. At the bottom is how many points the card is worth. So my building, when it's delivered to the city, is gonna be worth three prestige points because as architects, that's all we care about, mm -hmm. prestige. Last of all, and probably most important, yeah. is the architectural element. So this is something you need well. to integrate into your building. So, Chris, your one is I need you to build an archway yeah. into your building, something I can see through, fine. Wow, but not touching the ground floor. It needs to be on an upper level. Yeah. My one is a little bit different. Mine is a restriction. I'm not allowed to use any black pieces, any steel in my building. Uh, meanwhile, you guys, Mathilde, you have uh, an archway on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, over in the far corner, we have a courtyard, uh, which I've learned over the weekend. Auf Deutsch ist ein Innenhof. Oh, so, there, there you go. See, I'm so good at German. It's amazing. <laughs> good job. All right. Um, so, on your turn, you get to take two actions. You can yes. take pieces from the bag. And I've uh, actually set up the game so as if we were a few turns in. Cool. Uh, you can take three pieces at random, or you can dive in and pull out one that you like the look of. So you can actually look in. You can you physically one. look in. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can take a brand new tile from the selection over here, these three, and always remember to replace it by flipping out a new one. Uh, you can, if you don't like the look of those tiles, you can get rid of them and draw three new ones. Mm -hmm. When you claim a tile, you can also flip it for an extra action to build a different type of building. Okay. And of course, you can also take a brand new contract. Brilliant. And we all know what these mean now because we've all yeah. been super trained. So, um, last thing to need to know about is this is the, uh, the building pieces bag. If you've got this in front of you, you are not allowed to build. You have to take your mm -hmm. actions. Okay. And you can take two actions on your turn and you can double up. So if you want to take pieces and take pieces again, that's fine. Good. Nice. Everybody else at the same time, will be building. So this is a game that has very little downtime in it. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, Chris, Ooh. you've got the least pieces. You're going to be my first player. Fantastic. All right. If you two want to start building, I've done this a little bit, so I kind of can double yeah. task. Cool. So what do you want to do? Okay, so actually, um, so I can't build when the bag's in front you of me. You cannot build. Okay. And once your turn is done, pass it over to me. Nice. All right. So it, it's actually quite beneficial to go as fast you as you can, can because... Um, it will restrict the others from building their pieces. It will, but some of us are super professional architects <laughs> and can build at a decent speed. 
And is there a hand limit of pieces? Yes. So ah. you can only have a maximum of 15. You can draw over, but any that you uh, are over, you can just choose to put them back into the bag. Cool, okay. Oh, yeah. On top of that, draw... uh, also a limit of uh, two contracts and two tiles at any given time as well. I'm just going to draw twice then, so pulling six tiles. So, so that will come to me next. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to go around the table this way. Nice. So the bag's now in front of me. I have to stop. That frees you up to start building. Wait, all right, okay? let's go. Now, when uh, one of you folks have a, a complete building, I that's have a complete not building. on a park, Matilda. Not on a what, sorry? Yeah, don't build it on your park. That's that little green one. We'll talk about them in a minute. You have to build it on the yellow one. Remember, oh, they have to match. No. I feel like maybe <laughs> oh, I'm done building. Oh, cool, so once we I get around I'm to you, I'm, I'm going to take some more pieces. I'm going to take those. And I will take another three. So Matilda, I'm going to pass that to you. So you have to stop building, you have to take your actions. What would you like to do? Damn. I'd say um, take, taking some pieces is good because it gives you uh, a little bit more versatility. Yeah, true. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. So while so, you're doing that, I'm gonna mess around with here. How many can I, can I take? Uh, you can take three for each action. Ooh. So you could, if you wanted to, take a maximum of six. So I just got okay. a bit excited. I'm figuring, out, I'm figuring out a nice way of doing this. So for my first action, I'm going to ah. take three. Mm -hmm. So just so you can see it, we, All right. you might not be able to see it at home. These do not clip cool. in. They do not glue together. It is in, basically very fragile in the mm -hmm. sense of you've what got to balance mean? things. Obviously, these things aren't <laughs> going to break. It's not like they're going to break in half or anything like that. But uh, they, they are only balanced on top. And you then have to, and as uh, Mike will get onto in a second, move it into the center mm -hmm. of the city, being this piece here. So yeah, Whoa. this one so here. So is this interesting for me to get one of these tiles right now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for it, then I'm gonna take this one. Cool. So yeah, you can always work on two projects at any given time, so that's all good. So you're done, so we're gonna pass the bag around. Okay. And this wouldn't normally happen in the game, but we are gonna do a brief pause because it looks like we have a completed building over at the end of the table. I'm just going to fix this because the bag I'm hit it on the way. We won't mention um, it. We'll just move the camera off and definitely there we not go. see that you're so, messing around with it. And Perfect. it's fine. All right. So at this point, if you've got a complete building in front of you and it's your turn, you can do the alternate action, which is deliver. That's so, going to yep. So you either take <laughs> two full actions or you take your whole turn to deliver Ooh. the building. So I need you in your best, most authoritative, is that even a word, voice, to tell the rest of yeah. us to stop building. Stop building. Wonderful. <laughs> At that point, it's hands off the table. And now you need to demonstrate that this building hits all of the requirements. First of all, okay. is it on the right colored tile? It's purple, it's purple. Perfect, that's Good beautiful. Start. Second, is it at least 30 stories high using oh, the ruler? The and we measure on the tile. Oh, on the tile. Yep. I think oh. it's, it's up I think to it's about 60. Over. I think you yep. Yep. Uh, twice excellent. as high. Sec uh, next, does it uh, have exactly cool. five pieces? Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. Cool. So that right? Yeah. I yeah. think that uh, might oh, be one on. over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I can't remember what's I on the bottom. I know that there's definitely one <laughs> oh. over. Oh dear, okay. Uh, so what I suggest is that big tall one, take that one off. Oh, but then and it then won't take the other enough. one on the side and turn it to a, uh, turn it to a side. Ah. Because then it's still going to meet, uh, I'd say uh, have it uh, like that. that way. Down, flat, across. Uh, there you go. Because okay. it's still going to meet the minimum height that we need. Nice. Yeah, but it's also going to be a lot more stable. Yes. The last thing I need you to do is to let me know that this is your building. So you can take one of your color cubes, pop it onto the building Boop. or onto the tile. Um, ah. It doesn't count as a piece, but if you have it on top, it will actually I give you some it. extra height to the building as well. But I'd play it safe for this one. You're good, a newbie architect. We want to make sure this is going to be good. And right. now you will majestically, beautifully add it Carefully, to uh, very carefully, <laughs> add it to the city. Oh, a oh, little bit of drift there. Oh, there we go. Might Anything be fine. You're right over there. Water, don't worry. It's a bit far, but you did it. Perfect. All right. So we now have the first building in our mega city. Um, now amazing. I always like people to tell me what the buildings are because it gives you a bit of a story about uh, what okay. the uh, thing is. Um, this is, of course, a public building. It is uh, so a what is it? public water purification Lovely. laboratory. Which, nice. considering we're in the middle of the ocean, is probably a good idea. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, now, you've done this. You take your contract and flip it upside down to show Kaboom. that it is complete. Done. And then we have to do a tiny bit of housekeeping. First of all, we take this little token 
and we put it next to it because this is the tallest building in Mega City. Oh. Small round of well, applause. Well done, well done. I mean, it was a very low bar. But, it is, um... yes, it is the only building in Mega City, yes. but that's okay. Uh, so if you'd like to take one of those little blue tokens, that is a bonus prestige point. Oh, okay. Anytime somebody builds a taller building, you will now be able to then take a, build, a, a prestige point token because uh -huh. you are now the tallest in the city. But we don't take it off the person. No. no. Okay. Once you've got a prestige point, it is yours until the end cool. of the game. That's okay. good. Uh, final bit of housekeeping. You now have a little bit of a bonus action, and this is where the parts come Ooh. into play. So, uh, Matilda, obviously you were trying to build on that earlier I on. I was. You do not build on these things. They are for beauty, for culture. Oh. Uh, so you now have the choice to, if you wish, to add your park to the city. And you can put it in any place next to the building that you have just submitted. Interesting. What you can't do is put it next to another park. Okay. Now the question is, why would you do this? Well, if somebody builds next to that park, they can take a spare piece that they have put it in the park as a statue, ah, and then at the end nice. of the game, every building around that park will score bonus points. So I do have a quick question in the chat, asking yeah. how many pieces come in the box? As 150. In... There you go. The, the bag is full, you could brain people with it. Um, so yeah, it's please 25 different but... shapes. Yeah, please don't brain people <laughs> with the bags. Um, so yes, 25 different shapes, three yeah, cool. different materials, so you get each shape six times. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's all good. Fantastic. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm going to hold off on my park. Off I'm going to I'm going to sit on my park for now. Good. Um, Enjoy it for yourself. Park. Yeah, I'm just going to park that over here for the minute. There it is. Oh. There's the terrible pun that we were waiting for. Uh, awesome. So that takes up your whole turn. Yep. So the bag now passes back around to Chris. There we go. There you go. And uh, I'm, you're up. So, so I'm going back to my buildings. I don't have to okay. pay for taking another contract. No, you can just take it for free. This, this, this is the future. This is a utopia. Nice. You know, this is bright colors. It's beautiful. We just want to make sure it's going to be good. No, you may okay. only take two. I don't want you to overstretch yourself. That's fair. I, That's wanted, fair. I want you to make sure that you are and what was, capable of and doing And I can work. take a tile. You can. Oh, could you flip can out I, a third tile there so oh, uh, we get another option? Should I grab that one as it's the one I'm looking for? Move those nice over. One. And I'll just pop that there. All right. So I can't build right now because I don't have yeah, the tiles, correct? So, uh, so you're going to need to... Uh, yeah. What you can do though is plan for the future a little bit. Yep. Uh, I am going to try and deliver my building. I've just got to make sure it's got six bits. One, two, three, four, five, ah. six. So I'm going to ask everybody to please stop. Hands off the table. Oh, that was very authoritative. Was. I'm, I've been playing this all oh, weekend. Yes. I'm kind of like, <laughs> like, I'm like the mayor of Mega City. Uh, so I'm going to add a residential building. Oh, Let's wow, see that is impressive. If I can actually Goodness get it me. in there. I noticed someone said I'm making this attention game. All these pieces are balanced. Yes. The tension is palpable. Now, there's, this, there's been this weird rumor going around Essen that you can only use one finger to put the thing in. Oh, That's okay. like super hard mode if That's you want to advanced. do that. Um, Pinkies no. only. You do, uh, one, do whatever you want. Nose, <laughs> or like those weird things that croupiers have on casinos <laughs> yeah. that like to make you push it through there. Um, I am going to put my park in there. Oh, okay. Okay. So if anybody else uh, decides to build next to that, it doesn't have to be me. Um, they can take a spare piece and put it in there for the statue. All right, nice. Zapops is asking, so you were talking about black building pieces, they're mm -hmm. black, transparent, and gray, so I think this is uh, steel, yeah, glass, steel, and concrete. Glass and concrete, which I've learned, uh, stahl, glass, and beton. Perfect. Very nice. Uh, are there any more colors or types of material? So, for the base game, uh, it's just Ooh. the three different materials. <gasps> nice the base sir. game, you I'm, say. For the base <laughs> game, you say. Now, of course, please remember that the game literally launched this weekend. Well, it's here at Essen. Uh, it's available in North America and the UK as well. I'm not going to confirm that we're working on an expansion, but we might have thought mm. about it. And we all love farms, don't we? So we'll... Uh, uh, we'll see how ooh, that it is. Ooh. Although we did have a great suggestion for one this weekend, which was the um, the kaiju expansion. <laughs> so after you build everything up, you uh -huh. have a couple of rounds at the end where you're just trashing things <laughs> by throwing oh, a yeah, giant yeah, wooden yeah. Godzilla into the mix. Brilliant. Oh, we're like Jenga. You could like take yeah. pieces. Yeah. yeah. So you're here and you like flick the thing Sweet. halfway across the table, see how it goes. As okay. we are on about destruction. Yeah. Hypothetically, let's say I was to move in my piece and I knock over yours. <laughs> I love the hypothetically, as if that doesn't happen. Um, so if you are delivering your building and it yep. collapses, you take all the pieces back, you forfeit the rest of your turn, and then you pass the bag on, and you just got to rebuild better, stronger for the future. Uh -huh. um, if 
a building is in the middle and it collapses, the game actually stops. Oh. We pause a moment, and then as a group, we remove any pieces that have fallen into the water. Basically, any pieces that are off the tiles. They go back into the bag, so they actually recycle through. Uh, any pieces that are still on, uh, on tiles, we can remove them, but mm. if even one player says, no, stop, because they think it might cause a further accident, they can yep. veto it. Ooh, and it just ah. sort of like stays there as a, a monument to your failure. I would just say, this, this mega city does feel very diplomatic. I yeah, like it absolutely. a lot. There's no punitive yeah. punishment. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I realize that people will make mistakes. Here, speaking of a kaiju, a fly has just landed I know, on the stage. The tension, a fly this is like has just a, landed. Uh, this is like a five story high fly. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I, I um, intentionally put some rule elements into the game because uh, I actually have quite shaky hands. Mm. So I needed to make sure that I could win the game. Uh, <laughs> so even if a building falls down, it will still score at the end of the game. That's the good. contract still score. Basically, good. as long as when it's in there, it's done, you're yeah. happy, it still scores. Yeah. I mean, at the end of it, you did your job. Oh, I just broke my foot. Oh, oh no. You did your job and you it's not your be fault building. if, the it, uh, in front of Matilda, by if the way. it breaks. You know, yeah. At some it point, was, the building's got to come down. As yeah. all good architects know, if the building was fine when you left it, it's fine. You've done, yeah. your, Nothing, job. You've done your job. Nothing to worry about. Really, it's, it's just, all fine. If the building falls down next week, that's a user error. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing it's to do with us. Wear and tear. It's a You know, it's it's a bug. Uh, I told you, you look like you've got a building there that is it ready to go? It isn't. It's close to, but it's un, it's mm, not ready not yet. Quite, so yeah. remember, we need a uh, we need a an archway from you on that I know, one. I know. I'm getting getting close to it. That's yeah, all right. You're getting there. Yeah. Maybe if you took that one and um, I put them both on end, and then stuck something on top of it, we could see how that would go. My plan was go this way. Ah, but that wouldn't be touching the ground floor. Oh. Uh, therein lies the issue. Okay. Yeah, this game is not as easy as you think. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, so, what would you like to do? Uh, obviously, you have another blue tile there. Do you want to grab a blue contract for yeah, the future? Yeah, that would have been my plan, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Good stuff. And okay. uh, maybe a couple of extra pieces. Why have enough? All right, let's get going. So, I need something similar to my yellow contract, and I'm going to lose those, at least three of those, when selling this to the city, because I'm going to be a very successful architect <laughs> very soon. So Sorry. I'm going to try and grab the pieces that I'm interested in by touching them. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Um, again, that's actually intentionally put into the game. As you can feel the pieces inside, you'll learn what those pieces feel like. OK, got this. Uh, obviously, you won't know what color they are, uh -huh. but you'll be able to oh. uh, <laughs> you'll be able to at least work out what they are. And nope. Um, so, have a quick look on the Twitch chat. We have folks saying, uh, is the game already available in German? Uh, well, here at Essen, yes, we have German rules for it, but the game is actually only available uh, in English language. So, okay. if you want it, you're going to have to come and get it here in German. Uh, Maybe some I have just heard. heard. Unfortunately, yeah. we do need to wrap up because we are out That's of time. Right. But yeah. the good news is, I believe mm. your, the, yourself, Rory, Abby, and David have already done a full playthrough video yes, of this, we which have. I think is either up yeah. on YouTube or available for catch up on Twitch. Yes. I'm on some of the social media, so I'll tell you what, to see a full game, mm -hmm. see how all of the carnage of the various buildings falling down happens. <laughs> which can happen. Come on, Chris, I want you yeah, to get out of here. I really want to Chris, place your building, and I've, then we'll... Uh, I've built a, a, look at a, a, that. That's beautifully stable. So sta strong I thought stable. so. And so much so, it's got different chimneys see? as an industrial plant. That's there my contribution. Go. And, then and then there it is. Tilda's built this, beautiful. Um, this fine steel shopping centre. Very